Hey, hey, Cub fans. Thanks for joining us here in Cubs 24-7, where Randy talks Cubs. We're going to talk Cubs-Rockies. Cubs took care of the Rockies 5-2 today, up the record to 16-10 and in the spring. But before we get into the details of the uh, spring training game today, uh, it's a little housekeeping. i got some roster updates that I want to share with you. First thing is Javier Assad and Jordan Wicks. It was announced that they're going to be the uh, fourth and fifth starters in the Cubs rotation. So with James and Tyon being uh, down for now, we'll start the season with Justin Steele, uh, Shoti Managa, um, then, of course, Kyle Hendricks, and then Javier and Jordan Wick. So that was announced today. They're going to be moving Drew Smiley to the pen, and that's going to have a little bit of a domino effect. So Luke Little and Edwin Escobar are there. And as we know, Luke Little's been pitching really well. And uh, Edwin Escobar was fantastic. He pitched uh, two innings today, and he was lights out. So I'll tell you about, about that. So it's still kind of interesting. We, we've got a lot of pitchers. We've got uh, – uh, you know, Carl Edwards Jr. sort of in the mix. So there's there's a lot of decisions to be made. But as of right now, looks like the rotation is set. They also uh, cut the, the roster from 42 to 37. And the cuts are as follows. The first one is Daniel Palencia. Uh, he was optioned to Iowa. So he was the first cut. And uh, I'll, I'll just share this with you. Now, he pitched the eighth inning today. And I think he was mad. His four seamer was topping out at 98. So maybe he had a little attitude going. I don't know. Uh, so Colt, or, uh, Daniel Palencia optioned, uh, Colton Brewer, Richard Lovelady, and Thomas Pannone were three more pitchers who were uh, transferred to minor league camp. And then the other player was David Bodie. They, um, they assigned David Bodie minor league camp, basically cutting him. And so the decision is made, David Bodie will not be making the trip north. And I, I've just, I, you know, David Bodie's situation is really confusing to me. And we, we kind of all know his status. He's, he's under contract. He's a veteran. But he played really well this spring. Led the team in uh, home runs with five. His average uh, wasn't great, but his uh, slug and OPS were good. And he played, uh, really, to me, a, a phenomenal defense in all the positions. He played all over the field. And I just thought he had an amazing spring. And not that he, I thought he was going to make it. That's, that's not what I'm saying. What I'm saying is it's confusing that they gave him a lot of playing time this spring in all these positions, and he performed. He responded, and then they go ahead and cut him. And it's like, well, if, did you make the decision beforehand? If so, why did we uh, give him such a good look? I'm just kind of confused about the organization's approach with David Bodie. And, again, I'm not saying I th think he should make the team. That's not the point. It's just we've been watching him and a lot of talk, and it just sort of ends up uh, sort of uh, – you know, it, it, the ending was just a little anticlimactic for me. So, and I liked, I've, I've liked David Bodie for a long time. So I, I guess I was, I was rooting for him. But so that's the situation. The roster cut down to 37. And let's go ahead and talk about the lineups for today's game against the Rockies. Ian Happ uh, led off in left field. Dansby was at shortstop, hitting second. Michael Bush played first base, hitting third. Christopher Morell, again, was at third base in the cleanup spot. Dom Smith got a start at DH, hitting fifth. Garrett Cooper uh, played right field today, hitting sixth. Jan Gomes was catching, hitting seventh. Miles Masterboni played second base, hitting eighth. And Alexander Canario played center field today. They've been giving Canario a lot of time. He, he, he leads the team in, in at bats uh, this spring. So they're taking a real long, hard look at him. So we won 5-2, to two, but we were sort of down. And it was another, uh, like the third game in the row, the offense was anemic. So we scored one run in the fourth inning, and we were down 2-1 late. Uh, got a run in the eighth, and then the kids scored three in the ninth inning to win it. And I'll walk you through that. But um, we had nine hits total, walked once, struck out 11 times. And um, it was the it was the minor leaguers, and I'm talking about the the deep minor leaguers. There's some names on here that are obscure. So let's walk through the scoring. We got a run in the fourth inning when uh, Christopher Morell walked, and Dom Smith hit a ringing double to right field. Morell scored from first. That was the first run in the fourth. We got another run in the eighth inning. I'm going to give you three minor league names. Josh Rivera reached on an error by the third baseman. E five. Drew Bowser followed him with a, a line drive single to center. 
And then Liam Spence uh, singled to right uh, for an RBI scoring Josh Rivera for the eighth. So a little bit of um, uh, capital, capitalizing on an error by the Rockies, a manufactured run by the minor leaguers in the eighth. So we go into the ninth inning, and it's uh, two to two. So three more names. Parker Chavers singles. Juan Mora follows him with a single. And then Cole Roterer. Cole's gotten some bats this spring. We've talked about him a little bit. He's a little gamer, by the way. Uh, Cole Roterer hits a three-run home run to right center field. Scores three. Just, just awesome. So the the minor leaguers came in late and got it done. And they needed to because, uh, well, let's just walk through what everybody did. Ian Happ led off left field. He went 0 for 3, struck out looking, uh, fly out to left, and a uh, ground out to second base. On the C, on the spring, Ian Happ is hitting 111. I don't want to scare you, but I'm going to give you some uh, everybody's average. All of the theoretical uh, you know, roster guys, their average for the spring, I'll give those to you. Dansby Swanson today went 0 for 3, uh, flew out to center field, uh, popped out to the second baseman, and grounded out uh, to the third baseman, uh, stranding two runners. He's hitting 188 for the spring. Michael Bush went 0 for 3 with a strikeout, fly out to center, and a fly out to right field. Uh, he's hitting 216. Christopher Morell went 0 for 2 with that walk. So Christopher Morell walked and scored. Uh, he's hitting 286. Dom Smith had that RBI double. Dom went uh, one for three today. He's hitting 346. Is Dom Smith? Uh, Garrett Cooper had a bad day. Had the had four strikeouts. Had two swinging and one looking. So he went 0 for three. So uh, Coop is now hitting 231. Jan Gomes had a hit today. Went one for two. He's hitting 310. Miles Master Boney. Uh, went one for three, had a single. Uh, he's hitting 268 on the spring. And uh, Canario uh, struck out twice, and he had that uh, double to right field in the fifth inning. And he's hitting 234 on the spring. So the the minor leaguers who came in and got, got some at-bats were uh, Parker Chavers came in. He got uh, two at-bats, struck out, and singled. Josh Rivera got two at-bats. He reached on that E5, and he struck out in the ninth. Drew Bowser uh, had a single in his only at bat. Liam Spence uh, in the eighth inning had that uh, uh, RBI uh, in the eighth. Uh, Kristen Moore, Kristen is, um, was it, uh, got an at bat in the eighth, grounded out to second. Jacob Wetzel struck out swinging in the ninth. Joe Hudson, um, Got a, a, a bat, and he lined out to center field. Uh, Juan Mora got a single, and then Cole Roterer uh, got his three-run bomb in the ninth. So, you know, a lot of the obscure minor leaguers got some time today, and uh, and and they pulled it out in the eighth in the ninth inning for us. Let's talk about the pitchers. You know, during this whole anemic offensive run that we've had over the last few days, the pitchers have been really good, and it happened again today. So we give up two runs. Uh, total but all the runs came or both the runs came in the third inning so we we pitched um about six guys six or seven and they all did really well Yancey Almonte started he pitched the first inning got him three up three down uh with a strikeout so he just he they didn't touch him Drew Smiley pitched the second inning in the second inning he gave up a hit but he struck out two and he got out of it. He picked off the runner uh, at uh, at second base. The hit he gave up was a leadoff double in that inning. Ends up striking out two and then picking that guy off. So he got out of it. Drew pitched the third inning, and it didn't go quite as well. Drew gave up two hits, uh, two runs, gave up a two-run home run uh, in the third. So Drew Smiley uh, gave up the two runs, and that's all that the Rockies did. Edwin Escobar came in, pitched the fourth and fifth innings. And he went three up, three down uh, in both innings, uh, struck out four in those two innings. So he was uh, he was untouched today. Hunter Biggie pitched the sixth inning. He gave up a hit. Um, that uh, guy got out, caught stealing, and Hunter Biggie struck out the other two. 
Seventh inning was Porter Hodges' inning. He struck out two, gave up a hit, got out of it. Daniel Palencia, I mentioned he was tapping at 98 with his four-seamer. So he was four-seam uh, uh, slider action today. He walked a guy but uh, followed it up with a strikeout. So he struck out two in the eighth. And then uh, Sam McWilliams came in, had an uneventful ninth inning, three up, three down, got three ground balls. So pitching-wise, we were pretty dominant. If you take Drew Smiley's one uh, third inning, two-run homer off, uh, that was pretty much it for the Rockies. So uh, we got we got a bunch of pitchers that have been doing really well. So that's, uh, that's encouraging, especially because it seems like our potential everyday players, uh, at least here in the spring, they're not looking all that good. If Saya is out of the lineup and belly out like we were today, it's like, okay, where, where are we going to get it from? And that certainly uh, played out. So they've got time. I, maybe they're working on stuff. I don't know. I just I just feel like when I watch them hit, they just don't look good. So Hap and Dansby and Nico, um, I'm hoping they can, you know, start turning it around here. So uh, we're not going to panic. It's all good. But that's just kind of where we are as of today. Guys, hope you enjoyed the uh, wrap-up on the Cubs-Rockies game today. I appreciate you checking us out here on Cubs 24-7 where Randy talks Cubs. And we'll see you next time. Go Cubs, go.